former Samia Buenos MP Agri Awori was once an outspoken critic of the regime. A gifted orator, he often put cabinet on its toes during his tenure in parliament by revealing corruption-related scandals. As he began to mellow and grapple with the ravages of old age, a world like a biblical soul converted into Paul. He was rewarded to the coveted position as ICT minister. However, he was dropped from cabinet in 2011 and retired to his country home in the Bujiri district along the Kampala Highway. Speaking to NTV on Thursday, Awari is now a leading exponent of lifting the age limit. Some of us are prepared to go to court to challenge age limits on account of discrimination. That once you are over 75, you are discriminated against, you are not allowed to run this country. On what basis are you disqualifying me? Am I mentally unfit, physically unfit? In 2001, Awari, who was an adversary to seven contested for the presidency and came third with 1.4% votes. However, he says Museveni should be left to rule until Ugandans decide to vote him out. Let him contest until people say enough is enough. Just like some of us were kicked out of parliament. Why can't we do the same for president? I would say there are a number of people around the world who have led their countries successfully beyond the age of 75. I'll give an example. The late Ronald Reagan of the United States. He came to power when he was over 72. The incumbent president of the U.S., Mr. Trump, he's over 72. Are you going to say this man should only run for two more years and go? A warrior who was part of the Constituent Assembly that authored the Constitution says he was among his six members who were again placing a limit on the edge for a presidential candidate. He is now imploring the Tenth Parliament to lift the age limit provision in the Constitution. The Tenth Parliament, if anybody comes up with a proposal of removing the age limit, I would say, good speed, remove it. If somebody says, uh, no, we keep it, I say, prove to me that anybody above 75 is unfit to run a country. If Ugandans insist that the age limit of 75 for the president remains in the constitution, Awari says it should cut across all elective positions. All the previous constitutions did not have age limit. What was the age limit for Obote? What was the age limit for Mutesa? What was the age limit for Lure? Why is it that we don't have term limits for parliament? We see my honorable ladies who have been there for more time in memorial, they are still there. How come we're not arguing that affirmative action has matured? Let go. On the succession question, our says it would be illegal for any individual or organ of government to name a successor to seven when the constitution places that mandate in the hands of the masses. Even if we decide right now that let our be the successor to seven. Let us, Mr. Mujuni, run, or be the successor. Or if Museveni came up and said, let my son, Mohozi, be my successor, that would cause Tamu in this country. Why, do, why are you forcing an issue which you can't, which will only be divisive? Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Weekend Edition.